what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we talk about friday the 13th in this video here again today more specifically talking about the upcoming crystal lake tv series that we know is coming to peacock now what's funny about this is i actually put out a tweet yesterday on friday the 13th saying it would be nice to have some crystal lake news today since it's friday the 13th and we actually did get some crystal lake news now i don't believe it was actually on the exact day i think it was early this morning this news came out but again as we learned a few months ago a24 and Brian Fuller will be bringing a Friday the 13th prequel TV series titled Crystal Lake to Peacock at some point in the future and the internet just went into a frenzy because of the fact that we haven't had any Jason content since what like uh 2009 the last time a jason movie came out i was still being urged to skip through the sex scenes by by the adults in my life so that's how long it's been since that hockey mask freak has graced our screens however that was then and this is now because six hours ago or longer by the time this is uploaded brian fuller confirmed several new details that came from eric goldman the info is again related to the upcoming crystal lake tv series Fuller in the past has told us he can use any and everything and tease we could see multiple iterations of Jason, which definitely has us all excited for what is going to happen with this series because I know people were just like, oh, well, are we going to see Hockey Mask Jason? Are we going to see Adult Jason? He hasn't flat out said that, but it's the it's the teasing that we will see that that's giving everybody that, that sense of comfort. So just to hop into the new info, Eric Goldman has shared new details that came from a Q&A, it seems, after a screening of Friday the 13th Part 3, like a restored version of the film, occurred last night. Fuller was in attendance and during this Q&A confirmed some new details about the upcoming Crystal Lake TV series. Fuller confirmed that they, are right, that they start writing in two weeks, that the show will have two scores to choose from, Kevin Williamson will write an episode, Adrian King will have a recurring role, Fuller has also pitched four seasons of Crystal Lake to Peacock, but we know only one has officially been ordered as of now. Fuller did note that Peacock would have to pay a hefty penalty if they did not order a second season. Uh, when he was asked if he can confirm Pamela's role in the Crystal Lake series, Fuller replied, we're honestly going to be covering it all. The series is covering the life and times of these two characters. Now, he didn't specifically say who those two characters are, but you know, logical assumptions would lead you to think he's definitely talking about Pamela Voorhees and Jason Voorhees. So we're going to get to see enough out of this series related to Pamela, and we'll also get enough out of this series related to Jason as a child and as an adult, one would hope. Seeing the multiple iterations of Jason over time, that's fine too. Now, I want to jump back really quick to the mention that Adrian King will have a recurring role in the upcoming series because that's our first bit of casting information. King is known by me and other fans for bringing the character of Alex hardy to life and i doubt that she's coming back to play that role for obvious reasons if you're familiar with that franchise the way that i am so i'm eager to see what this recurring role for her will be once crystal lake lands on peacock as of right now given that they start writing in two weeks we're already in 2023 crystal lake i would i would have thought would be premiering this year but now i don't see that happening I see it premiering next year sometime. I see it premiering sometime in 2024, which is fine. At least we know we are very close to seeing Jason Voorhees back on our screen, or at least just being back in the Friday the 13th universe in any capacity. Now, as for Kevin Williamson writing an episode, that that's just got me really excited. I'll, I'll be honest, that's got me really excited. After seeing Sick, hearing what he's had to say about Scream 6, and seeing him step back again into into horror recently with that movie Sick, which I've seen nothing but praise for now that it's had its official release. Um, I would love to see him tackle a character like Jason Voorhees and see what he brings to the table. Because I'm imagining an entire episode from him that has the vibes of Jason Lives. Because Jason Lives is very much so one of the entries I could see Kevin Williamson pointing out as his favorite. Uh, or being a fan of given how it basically did Scream before Scream was ever a thing. Williamson again his latest horror film sick it's again receiving so much positive feedback over on Peacock so if I were to get to get a chance to see him tackle another horror character and it's Jason I'm not going to complain there it actually has me a little bit intrigued to see him tackle one of the bigger the bigger three icons that exist outside of the the smaller ones like Ghostface Chucky etc or if he's writing about Pamela, that'd be fine as well. But Kevin touching more horror in general is always just good news for us. The four season pitch of the show to me sounds like the first season could cover Pamela and Jason's time at Crystal Lake, 
leading up to his drowning and aspects of the fallout like Pamela sabotaging some of the reopening attempts, etc. Seeing how she dealt and struggled with the disappearance of her son, seeing Jason actually hide in the woods and maybe learning why he hid all these years and didn't return home to his mother. Is it something related to Pamela herself? Maybe something related to Elias or something else that was going on at home? And then for season two, for at least a few episodes, might dive into Pamela's spree set in the original movie but also introduce us to characters like Elias Voorhees and maybe clue us in on just how exactly Jason did manage to survive in the woods. Then with season three and season four, that could be Jason on a rampage in the fashion we've come to know and love while wearing the iconic hockey mask. That's what I could see happening if this is indeed going to be a show that is four seasons. Also, of course, I know I've touched on the past how I would love to see this somehow build up into being a sequel to one of the recent entries in some capacity. And when I say recent, I definitely do not mean Jason X. I don't know how you could even do a sequel to Jason X. Jason X went so far down went so far down the rabbit hole. That's why that movie is being ignored the way that it is now. That's why the movie that came out afterwards, Freddy vs. Jason, doesn't even acknowledge it. That movie is actually set prior to it. And that's why the follow-up movie after Freddy vs. Jason from 2009, again, has nothing to do with Jason X. So if they were to make it a sequel to any of these previous entries and they were somehow able, in a perfect world, if they're somehow able to make it a sequel to Freddy vs. Jason, but we're just, of course, obviously going to focus on Jason's character, I wouldn't be mad about that at all whatsoever. I wouldn't complain. But we'll see what happens because I'm really excited now to see what this show can bring to the table. I'm also pretty excited to know who else will be joining the cast. We know Adrian King will have a recurring role. Kevin Williamson again will be writing an episode. They start writing in a two in two weeks. So I'm assuming they have a writer's room assembled. So we should learn a lot more in the coming days, weeks. Uh, of course, obviously weeks since they're going to start writing in two weeks. Hopefully we can get some more information from Brian Fuller. Now, how do we know all of this is correct? Brian Fuller actually chimed in over on twitter quote tweeting this saying that that it's all true so again this is pretty exciting information that we learned on friday the 13th well not exactly friday the 13th but information that we learned on saturday the 14th i guess but you guys can let me know what you think about all this information down in the comment section below are you looking forward to crystal lake why or why not would you rather see a friday the 13th movie why or why not uh what do you hope again to if you are someone who's looking forward to the series what do you hope to see out of this series if it does actually last four seasons let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification so you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video